This is the collage part of my Moments Forgotten series. So in the previous videos, we have altered the tin and prepared the photos to put together this booklet. In this particular video, we are going to create the signature or create the booklet. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Oak Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel. And of course, the notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. So let's get started with putting this book together. I am utilizing a gallon tea bag. It is the perfect size to create a signature and I have a very old book or some vintage book pages that I'm going to be utilizing as well as a 1950 almanac that is aged so I want to use some pages out of that as well. <clears throat> this book commemorates the 1940s or the time during World War II when my father was overseas writing letters to my mother. So I'm trying to prepare a booklet in honor of that time frame. So this will be my cover. I have, am utilizing that gallon tea bag. I have placed some lace on it, have collaged or decoupaged, if you will, some of the old vintage photos and just a little scrap of white fabric. And now I'm just taking a needle and thread and slow stitching these pieces together. I laid them down with a mixture of glue and water first to secure them in place. And now I am going to finalize that for both aesthetic quality as well as security for these to stay attached with a needle and thread. I'm going to double up the thread and use a um, double thread going through so I'm not using a single piece of thread stitch. And I'm just very randomly, haphazardly, if you will, whatever term <laughs> that you would like to use, stitching this booklet. Now I am going right down the center of the spine just to give number one a demarcation of the center and two to give it just a little bit of interest. And I'm tying it off in just a double knot and leaving the threads to hang because I kind of like that messy thready rustic look. And that's what I'm going for in this particular little booklet is, you know, it's aged. It's been sitting around for a long time, which to tell the story fully, I have all of the letters my father wrote my mother during World War II. I have copied a bunch of those and I will be utilizing them to collage with inside this book. I have um, his handwriting that will um, actually be there. Now, the pictures that I am using, I will link a video up above on how I prepared those. They are not real pictures of my family. They came from the public domain, and I just searched uh, vintage photo World War II. And we'll get this stitched up so that it is nice and secure and tie that knot off. And I think we'll be pretty good to go. I, you know, I f like doing the stitching. It's kind of relaxing because you don't have to think about a whole lot. You just are securing this down with needle and thread and it kind of suits the time frame of what I'm commemorating here in this booklet. And there we go with that final little double knot. We'll just trim that up just a tiny bit. And I think our cover is pretty much good to go. I do want to lay this washer down. It 
it does add some weight and I like the feel of the weight on this booklet and I'm just utilizing some glitter glue and we'll set that aside and let it dry so it's it's nice solidly attached. I just want to add a few more threads up here just for nothing more than aesthetic purposes. Now I think I have the cover finalized. And you can see I've chosen all my little pieces of vintage paper. I have them setting up top and I have this linen that I picked up at a, or I, yeah, I believe it is a linen. I picked up at a um, fabric store or not at a fabric store. I'm sorry. I picked it up at a, a thrift shop and I'm just going to tear that into a page size. And I will be utilizing this to create a page within this book. And I have also tea stained a bunch of fabrics and canvas and I am going to utilize those as well in a number of different ways within this composition. I'm just getting some things laid in place. The whole purpose of this is to tell a little story. And this will be where our first or where our story begins inside this front front cover. I found in the almanac a list of 60 anniversaries and what those 60 anniversaries what the gift is for that. The first one's paper, second one, so on and so on. And I thought this was would be great to put inside the cover of this book because my parents celebrated not 60, but 65 anniversaries. So I think it kind of speaks to the longevity of their relationship. And this booklet is about a period in time that they endured which was my father deploying in World War II, being in combat, being wounded, being in a hospital for a year, etc. So the first picture that I am going to use is going to be their, their goodbye. <clears throat> now I'm just preparing some pages for inside the book or to complete that signature. And I am using the tear ruler to make sure that I have a frayed or ragged edge on each side. And I want to tear that not a lot bigger, but slightly bigger than my cover. So it peeks out from that gallon tea bag. So we're getting a little bit of noise, if you will, when you look at the book folded. And I'm just tearing three, three pages here. So we have those to use. And now let's get something down. And this will be the back of the book. And I have put down a piece of my echo dyed paper, but I'm going to tone it down by putting a piece of tea bag over the top of it. So it's kind of veiled. And I'm just adding another piece of vintage photo. Or not vintage photo of uh, vintage paper. And we'll let that dry. And while we're doing that, I have this beautiful piece of white fabric that is a lace texture to it. And I want to glue that to a piece of this paper 
to create one of the pages within the book. And I think that stark white against that tea bag will be very nice. <clears throat> I'm just choosing photos and placing them. Once again, I have a video on how I prepared those photos. I have not done that yet. They're still in the drying phase, but I am just using them to get placement at this particular point. And here, this photo is complete. It is the goodbye with the year. And I just pulled that date out of one of his first letters written. And we'll just place that right on top of that photo. So there, that kind of completes that page. And I went back and I sewed it in. I'm not going to bore you with the stitching again, but I did go around the outside edge of that photo and just sewed it in with a slow stitch. So this will be the cover and the opening of the book. And I think that speaks to a goodbye, that couple hugging. And now we will continue and fill this up and, and tell the story. I like how that white shows outside the page. So this is a letter that he wrote. And I'm going to tear this with the tear ruler down to a size where I can just use this particular letter as a page. So I will get all the white torn off of it first. And now we'll just size it to the paper that we want to adhere it to because I don't want that white showing. And now it's down to the appropriate size. Get some vintage photo ink and ink around it, the outside edges. And I want to distress it a little bit. I'm just putting some marks on it. Now I'll put some folds in it like the letter was folded. And just distress it a bit more. So there, I'm happy with, with that now. It looks a little more rustic. We will get that adhered to this piece of fabric. This is that linen that we tore. And now let's just take that heat tool back in and dry this and we can move forward with a dry piece. I'm going to choose some lace and some adornments for this page to kind of lay over that writing and just place it, maybe veil it slightly with the coffee filter or tea bag. I have lots of little pieces chosen here and we'll let that other piece dry and work with this piece of linen. I went to get that torn down to the appropriate size and I'd like to spray the outside edges. So this booklet is going to be made of the gallon tea bag, some paper, and quite a bit of fabric. This is a piece of lace that I thought would create just an interesting adornment. Damn it. 
so we will place that mm. down. And this other little piece of lace has little flowers tatted within it. Mm. I'm going to cut one of those out and lay it and center it atop this piece of white lace. And I think that will make a color variation that will be interesting within this booklet. There. I think I like it better on the tea stain linen than I do on just the virgin linen, if you will. So let's get that sized appropriately. Frayed off the edge and the vintage photo ink will just age it a bit. Mark the center so we can have a reference point when we're putting pieces down. Mm -hmm. And just playing with the different pieces chosen to kind of appropriately get them in place. This is a picture of a woman holding a letter, and I thought it would look nice at the front of the book, you know, after the separation showing the handwritten letter and then showing her receiving some letters or, or having some of his handwriting at least denoting the letter writing, showing the lady holding the letter, of course, kind of speaks to the receipt, glue her down, I'm using some Fabri-Tac to get her glued into place. And this, of course, would be towards the end of the book. Thank you so much. There, so you open that up. And it falls right over. I show the first page is just some writing and the writing says love 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 so of course he's sending his love through these letters to the woman that is receiving them still stateside hasn't gone overseas as yet just getting ready for that deployment and then of course we'll Utilize our combat picture next and the notification from the casualty branch. And then we'll end with this little nice piece kind of commemorating the return and year in the hospital and life moving forward. Getting them in place and kind of thinking it through. That's true. I like the frayed edges. Pulling the <clears throat> vertical threads to let the horizontal thread show frayed. And let's get some more of these vintage papers laid down into the booklet. It's a little piece of white fabric, some of his handwriting. And I'm choosing handwriting where I see the word love repetitively. So the first page is the goodbye. 
this page you have the handwritten letter on the left facing side and on the right you see the repetitive word love so for this page I'm just kind of showing him sending his love through all of these letters if that makes sense a little piece of copper that kind of mimics the front of the tin. This is just some additional writing. This was a letter that was censored and reduced. So I'm pulling one of those out and we'll vintage photo ink it a bit to distress it to put it inside the book. Just want to get it into place and decide what I'm going to do here. You know, vintage photo around the outside edges of this fabric. Let's distress it a bit more. Adding some additional lace on this side. There we go back into age this much better. As you can see with when I put these little vignettes together on these pages I there's really never anything that is pre-planned it's all a matter of I have everything laid out that I want to use or the types of things that I want to use. I, of course, don't use it all, but I pick and choose from it as I go and lay it together until it appeals to me, and then I glue it down. Now, this particular page, I don't think you can see this real well on the video, but it is an actual combat picture. So it shows men in combat. And I wanted to reference that because he was wounded during the Battle of the Bulge. Lay some threads down, just, you know, the messy threads to kind of reference the turmoil and time. little bottle cap that I found that is wounded as well. I picked it up in a church parking lot actually. Been run over numerous times but still survived. So we'll lay that there. And I have some um, <clears throat> Excuse me, I have some vintage photo spray that I think I'm going to lay down here as well. I want to get the other pieces kind of in place. Just to showcase a little more of his handwriting. Still thinking, still choosing. So I know I'm going to use that piece for sure. 
Oh, let's go ahead and get it laid down. I kind of like the star quite here because I am going to use that. There we go. I'm going to use the spray to randomly, there we go, stain that. And we just pick up some of that ink on that wax paper and then I can lay it down in other places as well. And I want some on this other side around the picture, but I don't want to cover the picture, so I'm just going to take it off of the wax paper or off of the deli sheet. We'll dry this up a bit. And that will be the center of our booklet. And it is on a tea bag, another gallon tea bag. And now here is a letter with the return being the casualty branch. So we'll put that in to kind of mark the notification. She received a telegram that said, your husband has been wounded. And that was about all it said. I have the telegram. My mom gave it to me oh, years ago when they were both still, still alive. We'll heat that, and we are getting close to being finished. And at the end, I will put some pictures of the flip through of the book, so you'll be able to see how it finishes out. But let's just get the rest of this glued down. We are almost to the end. just collaging our way through the mixture of paper and fabric. And, of course, the gallon tea bags. This is just a little scrap of white. So this is the final placement of things within this book. And as soon as we finish getting this glued down, I will show you the book from start to finish and kind of explain my thought process of the book. But I think this is a nice way to commemorate an event in your life. It doesn't have to be anything major. You know, it can be a weekend or a, a vacation. But... It's fun to be able to go back through this and, and kind of think about that time frame or share those memories with your family or other people. So this finalizes the book, and I will get that signature sewn in, and I am just going to bind it by, by sewing it. Um, this is the finished front cover, the goodbye, 
and the commemoration of the 65 years together, the beginning of the writing of the letters or sending his love, the receiving of those letters and the censoring, combat, the wound, the injury, the year in the hospital and final recovery you see there on the right. And then the, um, you know, just the letters from the hospital over that year and their survival of the experience. So I hope you have enjoyed. This has been a great project for me and I am happy to share it with you. It's, it's been a very cathartic project, if you will. So I hope you have enjoyed. Once again, my name is Peg and my channel, Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I've put the complete playlist of this project up above. Bye for now.